Are you looking to strengthen your lower body, enhance hip flexibility, and boost knee stability? The Horse Stance has got you covered, along with more benefits that may surprise you. You probably have recognized popular icons like Wim Hof performing this exercise while doing all the crazy hand movements. But good news is, you don't have to do those to benefit from this exercise. The first benefit is lower body strengthening. The Horse Stance is a powerful exercise for strengthening the lower body focusing on the legs, hips, and core. This deep, wide-legged squat primarily works the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calves, building muscle and endurance. The constant tension in these muscles during the stance not only tones them, but also boosts overall leg strength. This makes it ideal for anyone wanting to enhance lower body strength for sports or activities requiring strong legs and stability. The exercise's isometric nature keeps muscles constantly engaged, offering a full lower body workout. Later in this video, I'll show you an easy way to get into this position to perform the exercise. But for now, let's get into the second benefit, which is enhances core stability. The horse stance is highly effective for boosting core stability, a key element in overall fitness. Its wide-legged deep squat position activates core muscles such as the abdominals, obliques, and lower back, crucial for balance and posture. This continuous engagement through isometric contraction enhances muscle endurance and strength. Regularly practicing the horse stance leads to a stronger, more stable core, improving posture, reducing back injury risk, and enhancing performance in various physical activities. Its emphasis on core stability makes it an essential part of any fitness routine laying the groundwork for overall body strength and balance. Coming up, you'll be interested to see how this exercise plays a role in mental toughness. Improves Balance Named for its similar position of riding a horse, the horse stance is a wide, grounded posture that effectively improves balance, which is a very important aspect of physical fitness. This exercise continuously challenges and boosts your body's stability. As you hold this stance, it engages and strengthens your leg and core muscles, while also enhancing proprioception, your body's spatial awareness. Regular practice of the horse stance enhances coordination and equilibrium, aiding balance in daily activities and other exercises. Its focus on equal weight distribution and alignment also promotes a centered, stable posture, further improving balance and stability. Enhances tendon strength. The horse stance exercise is excellent for strengthening tendons, which are the tough, fibrous tissues connecting muscles to bones. When you perform the horse stance, your body maintains a wide, squat-like position, placing consistent, gentle stress on the tendons in your legs. This stress is beneficial because it encourages the tendons to adapt and become stronger over time, much like muscles do. Stronger tendons mean better support for your joints and a reduced risk of injuries, especially in activities that require sudden movements or heavy lifting. If you're getting value from the video so far, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Focus and Mental Endurance One of the key benefits of the horse stance is that it greatly enhances mental toughness. Unlike traditional exercises, holding this isometric position for a prolonged period can feel odd and challenging. As the intensity builds in your legs, it becomes increasingly uncomfortable and both your body and mind might urge you to stop. This exercise tests the boundaries of what you believe you can endure. While in the stance, you might feel tempted to give up, thinking you can't hold it any longer. However, by continuing to push through these mental barriers, you train your brain to conquer self-doubt, broaden your limits, and cultivate a stronger, more resilient mindset. Enhances athletic performance and martial arts. The horse stance exercise holds significant importance in various athletic disciplines, particularly in sports and martial arts, due to its multifaceted benefits. In martial arts, the stance is fundamental, enhancing stability, power, and agility, which are crucial for executing various techniques effectively. Athletes in sports, such as basketball, soccer, and gymnastics, also reap substantial benefits from practicing the horse stance. It improves their lower body strength and balance, essential for dynamic movements like jumping, sprinting, and changing directions swiftly. The enhanced core stability and leg strength gained from this stance directly translate to better performance, injury prevention, and endurance in these high-intensity sports. All right, let's get into the form and technique of how to do the exercise. 
To effectively practice the horse stance and reap its full benefits while preventing injuries, follow these simple steps. Begin with your feet together, toes out, heels out, toes out, heels out, toes out. Those five steps should have you in the proper position for this exercise. Breathe in a relaxed and controlled manner. Look forward, ensuring your head and torso are straight. Gently extend your neck upwards and slightly tuck in your chin. Keep your upper body at ease and balance your weight equally on both feet. Lower your hips by tilting your pelvis, not allowing your knees to extend beyond your toes. Aim to keep your back straight. Initially, a 45 degree thigh bend is fine. As you strengthen, lower your stance, but don't go beyond thighs parallel to the floor and avoid overbending your knees. Align your shoulders directly above your hips, avoiding any forward lean. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, envisioning tension leaving your body with each breath. To gauge your stance depth, you can use a broom or rod across your thighs, but remember to listen to your body's limits and lower yourself only as much as you comfortably can. Here are some common mistakes that you're gonna want to avoid when doing this exercise. Avoid anterior pelvic tilt. This tilt happens when the front of your pelvis drops and your lower back arches excessively. It's crucial to maintain a neutral pelvis position during the horse stance, as failing to do so can strain your lower back, and your spine remains in a natural, straight alignment. This adjustment not only protects your back, but also maximizes the benefits of the horse stance for your lower body strength and stability. Avoid leaning forward or backward. A frequent mistake in the horse stance is leaning too far forward or backward disturbing balance and alignment. This lean strains the back and reduces the stance's effectiveness in strengthening the legs and core. To correct this, one should focus on maintaining a straight with a very slight lean forward if needed, vertical alignment from head to hips, ensuring the body remains centered over the feet. Resist knees caving inward. This inward movement can lead to uneven distribution of weight and stress on the inner knee joints, reducing the exercise's effectiveness and building lower body strength and stability. Ideally, the knees should align directly over the feet, moving in tandem with the toes. This alignment ensures that the muscles of the thighs, hips, and core are engaged properly, maximizing the benefits of the exercise. To correct this, focus on actively pushing your knees outward while maintaining a stable and grounded stance, ensuring they remain in line with your feet throughout the movement. This adjustment not only enhances the efficacy of the horse stance, but also helps in preventing potential knee injuries. Bending from the knees and not sinking from the hips. This mistake shifts the focus away from the hips and pelvis, which are crucial for achieving the full benefits of the stance. Ideally, the movement should initiate from the hips, sinking down as if sitting back into a chair, while the knees bend naturally in response. This approach ensures a more balanced distribution of weight, engages the core, and enhances stability and strength in the lower body. So for beginners, I'd recommend starting with two to three sets of 30 second holds. Rest for about 30 seconds to one minute between sets to recover. As you progress and get stronger from doing this exercise for a couple of weeks, make the goal to perform the horse stance for three sets of one to two minute holds. Challenge yourself to push past what you think you can do. Leave a comment below on what other fitness exercises you'd like us to do a video on and check out this video right here.